All right, guys, today we're in lovely Blue Island, Illinois. Listen, you gotta most definitely check out this house. I got a nice one for you guys today. Get ready, let's go. All right, guys, so as you all can see, we are now inside the living room, all right? So this is the doorway I just came in. Let's go ahead and see what's behind door number one, okay? So it looks like we do have a, looks like a coat closet so as people walk right into the property, all right? And of course you got hardwood floors here, very nice, nothing crazy, just real simple, okay? Looks like you got a, almost like a sky blue, almost with like a gray tint on the walls. You have the light fixture there as well. Let me give you guys another angle so you guys can see how big this property actually is, okay? Download our free buyer's guide and top mistakes that first time home buyers make today. Scan the QR code or click the link in the description below. So you guys can see all the space that's there. Now, what I really like about this property is that, you know, with the TV and such, they have the outlet and then they have right here where it hides the cords, okay? So of course you just tuck those cords away if you want to do that, okay? Then you have bedroom number one, okay? So now usually when you have that closet that's on that other side, let's see if these closets are connected. They are not good, because usually sometimes in Chicago you'll see that, okay? So you guys can see there's plenty of space here on the inside, give you guys a different angle as well, all right? Don't worry, I know you guys wanna see that bathroom and that kitchen, we'll be there shortly, okay? Bedroom number two, okay, bedroom number two. So plenty of space inside of this bedroom as well, as you guys can see here, okay? Then of course, you have the closet space, let me back up so you guys can see that. A nice walk-in closet, nothing too fancy, okay? All right, now what I don't like, let me know how you guys feel about the plain doors. Usually we like to have some type of panels on the doors. Um, I know that that's a money saver for them. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, all right? Now, let's go ahead and go to the bathroom. Bathroom looks absolutely amazing, okay? Let me know what you guys feel about the tile. Okay, a lot, a lot of brown going on. Okay, so the tile is real nice. The backsplash and such as well too. Great job on the fixtures as well, okay? And of course we have the shower head as well too, okay? So of course they did a little bit of stage in here so you guys can get a feel of what all of this looks like, okay? So now let's go to make our way to the kitchen where all the magic happens, okay? So the kitchen is absolutely stunning, I love this look on the cabinetry. I'm not sure if they tried to match these paints, but this is more of a gray than a blue. Uh, but that gray, how do you guys feel about the gray cabinets? Let me know your thoughts inside the comments section below. Okay, so you guys can see, of course, the uh, countertops are absolutely amazing. Look at that, you got the nice little wine set going on here. So you gotta love that. Let me give you guys a back uh, look as well. So, looks like we have the oven, we have the microwave, and of course we have the refrigerator. No dishwasher, okay, no dishwasher. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about that. How do you guys feel about not having a dishwasher, okay? So of course, that's that bedroom here as well. Um, this is bedroom number three. Gives you a nice look view at the backyard as well, okay? Very low maintenance backyard here uh, that we have, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and make our way down to the basement area, okay? And I'll show you guys what it looks like um, in the backyard as well, so you guys can see that. So we got the slop sink here. Looks like the original slop sink from 19, no, I'm kidding, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so of course we do have the furnace room as well. So you got the furnace that's going right there, the hot water tank. I love how they close this area off as well now this is still exposed make sure i think they should close this off put like a little door here make it some storage that's just me let me know what you guys think about that you guys can see that space okay we're not done with the bedrooms guys There's a lot more bedrooms to go this is bathroom number two okay so we got the backsplash there that's what the fixtures look like then of course you also have the knobs there no tub so this is straight up shower okay straight up shower only with the course the uh, toilet and the sink as well, okay? 
This is bedroom, I believe, number four. So bedroom number four, four bedroom home in Blue Island. Very hard to find. Um, Blue Island homes are not known for having a lot of basements, okay? A lot of the homes do not have basements. So then of course we have the next area as well too, washer and dryer, okay? Let me know about that, but about your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you guys want to have a uh, washer and dryer when you are getting a property, okay? Is that a deal killer? Is it that big of a deal? But listen, look at the space here that you have inside of the basement area. So plenty of entertainment space. Now this door, this door is right underneath the main door that we walked into, okay? So you can have people come directly into the basement area here if you want to, and then that leads into here. Let me give you guys another corner look here so you guys can see from this angle what that looks like. So plenty of space inside of this basement. You also have uh, the recessed lights as well too. So plenty of space inside the house in general. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look outside in the basement area so you guys can see what that looks like as well, okay? So you have a nice deck that's right here, okay? You can have a little grill if you wanted to. Let me show you guys the backyard. So plenty of space inside the backyard. You got a shipping place that's back there so you don't have to worry about too many neighbors on that side of things. You got your neighbors obviously over here to the right. And I'm gonna give you guys a, um, you know, a look at how the actual uh, driveway looks right there as well too. Then of course you have this side of the uh, property as well too. Great size AC unit. I think that's a pretty good size AC unit for this particular property. All right, now guys, don't forget, don't forget, we can help you in any area. So no matter where you guys are looking to buy a home, nationwide, we can help you. Of course, anywhere in Illinois, we can help you. Okay, just let us know in the comment section below where you guys are at. Um, again, down payment assistance uh, for first time home buyer, second time home buyer, but you have plenty of space in a house like this. But listen, we're here for you, okay? If you guys got questions, things of that sort, let us know inside the comment section below. Just giving you guys another quick run through of the property. But either way, don't wanna hold you guys up too long. We'll see you all at the next property. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, let us know that inside the comment section below. But other than that, guys, we will see you all at the next property. Have a good one.